State's latest coronavirus numbers, there are 1,025 new cases being reported tonight, and that has brought the seven-day positivity rate up to 1.7%, which is double where we were in mid-September. It is the fourth straight day that Massachusetts is seeing more than 1,000 new cases. And today, Governor Baker blamed the rising infection rate on people under 30 going to large gatherings. The governor says back in April, 15% of new coronavirus cases were in people under 30. Now, now that number is 37 percent and with Thanksgiving a month away the governor is urging everyone to keep the dinner small and find creative ways to celebrate. WBZ's Christina Hager is live at the State House tonight with more. Christina. Well the governor says this is important. He says how we get through these upcoming holidays could make all the difference in the way this pandemic looks for the rest of the winter. There's just no way around it. The holidays have to look and feel different this year. No passing the turkey plate around, says Governor Charlie Baker. Any gathering beyond your immediate household, he says, should be virtual. Every family here in the Commonwealth needs to think long and hard about the well-being of your loved ones before you make your plans. COVID won't take a vacation and certainly won't respect the holiday, and we need to respect that. But traditions don't necessarily take time off either. So if people do insist on feasting together, Health and Human Services Secretary Mary Lou Sutters says... Define your bubble. That means limit guests, wear masks inside, make it a shorter time frame, open doors and windows, don't share food, limit who you're with after, and get tested. Since it flies in the face of giving thanks as most of us know it, Sutter's got specific about how that could work. One or two people in the kitchen with face coverings on, right, doing like sort of uh, creating plates for people and then literally serving people at the table. But sadly, it seems 2020 is not the season for toasting in person with friends and extended family. But the science is clear. Gathering in groups, packed inside, with friends and family coming and going, is likely the worst possible scenario for spreading the virus. And about college students, Secretary Sutter says it is okay to let them come home as long as they observe travel restrictions when appropriate as far as quarantining and testing when necessary. At the State House, Christina Hager, WBZ News.